be able to drive on the beach. Harness jack, probably not the best way to use it. This is the bike launching area. It says there's lots of dune rehabilitation and to keep to the designated path. The weather's not that great today. It's reasonably protected out here though. far away Point Louise lookout is and whether I want to walk that far or not. There's um, quite a few different wildflowers here that we haven't seen before. These guys are really interesting though. Which is the right way to go. Another sign up here saying Point Louise lookout. A little bit of blue sky up there. But not all that much is predicting showers tomorrow as well and, um, luckily where we're camped is a fair way from the beach I suppose and quite protected looks like it's raining out there and over there <laughs> probably coming this way really white sand, obviously quite a lot of weed around as well, but the sand is just very soft and very white. Just out for a Tuesday stroll along the tracks here, um, a little bit inland from the beach. Have my maps, I'll show you where we are. There we are, there. We've come off um, the coast road and we're going to head up to a place called Stockyard Gully Tunnel. Up here, have a look around. A little bit of water around, so it's been a little bit slippery and muddy. Um, pretty straightforward otherwise. A lot of the natives are out in bloom at the moment. So I've been um, stopping going, stopping going. Uh, the boss reckon she saw some kangaroo paws just where we stopped previously. Stopped here to get photos of that plant down there. Lots of um, pinks, oranges, reds, purples, blues, whites. A few banksies around this one, um, nice fowl there. Pretty cool, eh? Kangaroo paws here. They're just about spent. Just another banks here. So this is where we are, Stockyard Gully National Park. Looks like most of the traffic goes around to the right, but Hammer Maps tells me to go straight ahead. Chasing Blue Tongue. There he is. He's not too warm at the moment. It's a big old one. Look at him. He's going to play dead. How you going, mate? There's his Blue Tongue. Show us again, mate. We'll leave him alone now, eh? Stockyard Tunnel, oh, that's where we're heading. 150 metre walk. Apparently there's a um, few bees around. Hmm, yeah, flood level, 1999. We're walking in a creek. I won't stay up. Not there yet. Getting closer, I think.
I must just put it a beehive. It's um up there. Lots of bees hanging off it. Do the magic of editing and zoom in on that. You can hear um lots of bees around, but there's lots of flowers around too, but that's a pretty good hive up there. No, I'm not gonna go chase some honey. Now we're in a water risk area. Quicksand. Deep hole may form in the other end of this cave and creek is flowing. I think I need the sunnies on. Oh, it is quite a bit cooler. I didn't bring a light. The boss has got one with the camera. A little bit like Tunnel Creek, but without the water. Gathering um, parks don't want you to go up there for some reason or other. Okay, brisk area. Looking at the roof up there. Looks like um what was stalagmites. I think there's another beehive farm um, up there. There's a little hole in the rock and all the bees seem to be going in and out of there. No hands needed. The um the the track is guiding the car. It's um, one of those modern um, things that you get that you uh, bolt onto your car. It's a lot of electronic it's got sensors out the front of the cameras. You know, it just sensors where to drive. No hands, hands free driving. Who needs Tesla? Right, that's it. We've just come out of Stockyard Gully. Pearson's track. It's gonna like the hubs are back out. Not too far where we came off that Pearson's track, a little bit uh, further northwest, northeast, Lake Endoon. Looks like you can camp up here. Plenty of warning signs around about. Um, Amoebic meningitis, algal blooms, not to swim if uh, the water's about 24 degrees, not to eat fish taken from the water, all sorts of warnings. Used for swimming and other recreational activities is at your own risk. But there's a boat ramp here. One of the warning signs says if you're going to go for a swim, block your nose, if you're going to jump in, keep your head above water. Wow. Be a nice enough spot to pull up anyhow. Camp. I don't know if there's any fees here or not. Hot water here, showers, toilets. Maybe some more facilities. No, hey, yeah, guess what? It's um, uh, not busy. It's not packed out. Oh, from the side of the road. What's up? See a tire track there. Rear out, right tire. Dead. And this ground is really, really soft. High lift jack. Probably not the best way to use it. But uh, my bottle jack and my um, Toyota jack were just sinking in the ground, even with um, timber and supports underneath it. Dug a big hole. Put some rocks underneath. 
hopefully we'll get these nuts up reasonably tight and then I can um, move the rocks and um, hopefully get my jacks out before I let the uh, high lift jack down can't put the wheel on yet because the high lift jack needs to lever up that way there you go eh? that's a jack that um, caused me the grief it was on timber no, it wasn't dug out like that before and then uh, I shoved this one under before it rested on its um, diff so I fill up the hole and pack up coastal town of Lehman which is just oh, just about 8 or so k's north of where we're camping at the moment just saw this uh, lookout to tree point so you look up up the Navarro yeah there's a bit of wind around I'm guessing lobster boats a lot of seaweed down here, you can smell it in the air. Bit of rain out there in the ocean. There's actually a bit of a historical significance about this um, tea tree lookout. Must have been a tree here at one stage, right at the top of here. And fishermen used the tree to uh, navigate home between um, 1957 and 2002. Yeah, I'll pick up the cap when I get back. Um, we're just a little bit north of the campground. This is a boat um, ramp. Well, a launching area anyhow. Down and look. Plus, has already been down here. Just walking all around this place, Milligan Island. Gee, the sand's very white. Must be able to drive on the beach. One thing I haven't noticed is uh, cuttlefish, cuttlefish shoals. Because I think with uh, all the weed out here, you'd think they'd probably be squid. Or a good chance of it, anyhow. Come a little bit further north from our campground, um, Point Louise Lookout we're at. Just looking north at the moment. Can't remember the name, can you remember the name of that town? Greenhead. these um little poles out there I don't know if they're weather stations or not unusual the wind is a bit chilly too I've like got t-shirt on see what I mean by about the seaweed if you look along the beach there all the seaweed up on the beach doesn't smell so bad here, not as bad as Lehman. Welcome to the Lobster Shack, Cervantes, about 200 k's north of Perth. Boss and I were here about a week and a half, two weeks ago to come and do a sea lion swimming tour. He got blown off. What I mean by that is it was too rough, too windy, too wet. We stayed here and had lunch now, it's pretty good. Today's looking much better. The tour lasts for about an hour, hour and a half. That might be the boat we're going out on, might be. So we're just heading out for our swimming with the sea lions. Um, it's such a beautiful day.